It's definitely an honor, you know, and I just want to thank God for the ability he gave to me and just, you know, just to be out there and just get an honor like that is huge, you know, and I, you know, I can't thank my teammates enough, you know, to set me up in position to receive an honor like that. So it's, it's huge, and I, and I definitely want to share that with my teammates. How special has it been for you this year? I mean, to have the kind of season you're having, you knew you were capable of this. You knew that your team was capable of doing what you are doing. I mean, that's pretty special. It's been a great season, man. It's, and most importantly, it's been a fun season. You know, not a game went by that we haven't had fun and, and smiled and just laughed with each other and just enjoyed doing what we, you know, what we do best and stuff like that. So it's a great season. And, you know, honestly, it's going by too fast, you know. So I would say it's, it's going by too fast. But other than that, we, we, you know, we're on the right track uh, for the goals we set out. You know, we just got to finish up. Another opportunity to win another ACC championship. How big of a, a challenge is this? Because it is number one the next game, but it's also trying to win back-to-back -back championships. That's something you guys wanted to do to kind of cement yourselves as the dominant program in the league. Uh, it's definitely big, and it's definitely big for this team because, honestly, we haven't really accomplished anything as this team. So this is the first major accomplishment that we set out. So, and it won't, it, this team would never play, you know, with each other again. So we won't. You know, want to make the best out of our season, and this is part of something we want. And you know, we definitely got to jump over, uh, jump on the opportunity. And I, you know, I feel confident that we'll prepare the right way how we've been all season, and and get the job done. Not your uh, typical Duke team either. People hear Duke and they think, oh, Florida State's just playing Duke. Well, the team's on an eight-game winning streak. They're you know, ten and two. I mean, this is the best team they've had maybe since Steve Spurrier was your head coach mm -hmm. in the '80s. How good is this team you're going to play? Oh, this is a very good team. You know, knowing that they went on an eight uh, eight-game winning streak, uh, they do a lot of great things on defense and offense. You know, they score points and get stops. Have you know, they have some great guys. Uh, no secondary, you know, that got first team, you know, all uh, ACC as well. So, you know, it's just our job to respect them as an opponent and bring our A game, a game and I feel like we'll do that, and we've been doing it all year. You've had a, probably a little bit of opportunity to kind of watch your defense, maybe a little bit on film. You know, you've seen at least kind of what they do. As a defense, what do they do that's been so good this year? They play together. You know, I would say, you know, that, you know, that firstly, and, you know, that technique sound. So, so that you know you won't catch them uh, with a lot of you know mistakes. You know that just lets you know we got to be on our game. You know you got to be very you know critique with route running and and stuff like that. So I would say they play together and they're they're disciplined and they're very well coached. You guys have been great the whole year. It's that next game mentality, no matter who it is, no matter if it's Sister Mary of the blind, deaf, mute, and poor, yeah. if it's the New England <laughs> Patriots, you're going to play your game. How big is that, especially knowing because this is the last game before you could potentially get to where you guys want to get to. You know what's on the horizon to know we can't look at that. That This is, has to be a, we don't take care of business against Duke. What we want to have happen just simply won't happen. Uh, exactly, you, say, you know, you said it perfectly. And I feel like this team, you know, this year, we understand that, you know, a lot of people thought, you know, we had Miami and then we had NC State that we would, you know, get up for Miami, but then Overlook NC State, but we've been doing a, a great job at, you know, taking it one week at a time, one opponent at a time, and you know, taking care of business, and then the next week taking care of business as well. You know, being consistent with take, with doing things the right way, and you know, I see no reason why you know our team would you know slack up now, and and I'm definitely confident in our co coaches and our players, and I know we'll go out there and you know do it the right way and work hard and prepare. I think you might be the only wide receiver I've ever seen who smiles more when his other teammates catch touchdowns than when he catches touchdowns. Yeah. To see what KB did this past week, how much fun was that for you to watch? That's that's very fun. You know, j just to see, you know, I like seeing people have success, you know, I, especially people that I'm close with, you know, that I love being around and stuff like that. It's just, you know, it's a special feeling, you know, whenever any of my teammates, you know, make good plays or, you know, have any type of success, you know, I'm the first one happy for them, you know, congratulating them, just, you know, just honoring them, you know, because people like to, you know, you know, like for people to be happy for them. So, and I'm definitely a person that like to see people do good. So, and that's why I always have a smile on my face when I, you know, see my teammates do great things. To see what KB did, how he's transformed, because you and he came in together. Yeah. To see that KB to now, it's a totally different player. Yeah, and, and I think it started with just the mentality. You know, he finally got it going. You know, he had his, 
you know, things he had to deal with in high school where he wasn't playing for a little while. So it was, you know, it, it, it was just a matter of time before he got it, you know, got it started. And not saying that he hasn't, you know, been doing great this season, but he, he was able to jump over the opportunity that he, you know, that he had got. Do people know how good he really can be? Should he continue on this track that he's going on? I think a, pe a lot of people know that he, you know, that he can be a great receiver. But most importantly, as long as he knows and, and keep working the way he's working, you know, everything will work out for him. Talk about just the work he put into because no one really sees that. The, the work you guys put in the weight room, in the training room, in the classroom. I mean, the work that he's doing has really kind of prepared him. It was almost, Jimbo always says, you know, the work you do, the practice you do now is going to prepare you to have that success. Exactly. And he always says it. He's, you know, he says it, actually says it more than me that, you know, you know bro, I, I believe that, you know, the way you practice is the way you're going to play. And you can, you can tell that he really believes in it by the way he practices and the way he gets himself going and, and, and how he works. So, you know, you got to tip your hat off for that guy. And I definitely love him and respect him.